How in the world are you? This is Sivo for I Love Loose Figures. Welcome to the ILF Show. Today we've got some stuff on our docket. First of all, I got when I woke up, my aunt had tagged me in something on Facebook, and that's not a big deal, but uh, she's three hours, two hours away from me. And usually she doesn't tag me anything that early in the morning. I'm like, crap, what happened? And I went and looked and KOCO5 in Oklahoma City reported that Toby Keith has passed away. And that's deep to me because I grew up listening to Toby Keith. I'm now in the era of artists that I listened to passing away. It's so weird to be in this thought process. I know that he was having cancer. He had stomach cancer, I believe. And he was dealing through all that. But uh, should have been a cowboy. Um, man, uh, courtesy of the Red, White, and Blue. Uh, Beer for My Horses. There's so many songs that Toby Keith's done. And he's also a Sooner. He was a Sooner. Boomer Sooner. And uh, it's going to be weird just thinking about him not being here anymore. It's so weird thinking about people that I've grown up with over the years, that you've grown up with over the years, that are starting to pass away. We're starting to understand how our family members feel when they lose people in their pop culture world. Like in my lifetime, Leonard Nimoy passed away. Like, man, that was rough. That was probably the worst celebrity to date has passed away. In my lifetime that I grew up with. Um, but rest in peace, Toby Keith. We'll see you on the flip side. Let's talk about some TikTok. Universal has pulled all their music off of the platform. Um, that's artists like The Weeknd and Ariana Grande are a good example. Although they even heard Taylor Swift stuff was pulled. Um, an article I read on uh, PBS on their website, uh, said there was two reasons why TikTok pulled their music from, I'm not sorry, Universal pulled their music from TikTok. One of them was the money. Obviously, uh, weren't getting enough money for what they wanted for the use of their music. And number two was the advancement of AI, where it's starting to see that AI can make so much music and it's taking it away from what people want to listen to which is the actual music and it's so weird if you're watching on youtube comment below what's your thoughts on ai versus um actual music developed what would you rather listen to is it an issue is it something that's gonna be a game changer for you i know corporations think about all that money but they don't think about the consumers side very much they think they are but it's more about the music and the, the money side of it all I think somebody will be entertained just as much with the AI song as they would be with the actual song, especially with this generation and age where people are just swipe, 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 swipe. The attention span is so small anyway. I think they're going to get all that content. That's just me. Going into sports world, sports entertainment, Vince McMahon has recently been away from the WWE, but now there is no McMahon in the WWE. First time in, God, what, 40, 50 years, something like that. I grew up watching Monday Night Raw, and uh, I grew up watching the other things, the other WWF stuff back in the 80s, early 90s, but I remember Raw. I don't remember Vince McMahon as a wrestler. I remember him as a commentator starting out. Just the way his attitude, the way he got excited and he would do his thing right there with, uh, uh, oh man, JR and uh, uh, Jerry the King Lawler, you know, and it's just like, wow, there's no McMahon in wrestling at all. It's so weird to think about that. And now it's ran by other people and... We're going to see more of the WWE starting in 2025. Netflix, it will be the official broadcaster for all things WWE. We're talking WrestleMania, all 
other what we I would call pay per view events are going to be all on Netflix starting in 2025. So that's going to be interesting. And Netflix has already gone up in price, but now we're starting to see more things coming to the platform, which is good to justify that 20.99 or whatever it is now. And who knows, maybe there'll be different tiers and they may charge more for those special events or the live event. Um, I'm not sure Netflix is currently doing live events. Let me know. Maybe I might be wrong. I just know that certain platforms are doing them like Peacock and uh, Paramount and Hulu. I'm not so sure about Netflix. They probably are. Who knows? Oh, let's get into the Super Bowl, you guys. Super Bowl 58 this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. It'll be happening in Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, man, we got the 49ers versus the Chiefs. Now, people have been asking me, and Josh Dubb, also known as Josh Wallace, um, we were talking about this last night. He's like, okay, so are you going for the 49ers? I know you're a McCaffrey fan. And I'm like, I've been telling people, I ain't going for the 49ers. I'm just going for Christian McCaffrey. Someone at work was like, you know, you going for Christian McCaffrey means you're going for the 49ers. <sighs> I guess. I guess if that's what it really has to mean, then that's what it's going to have to mean. I, I mean, growing up in Oklahoma as a Dallas Cowboy fan, I don't want to root for the 49ers. I have absolutely no reason except for Christian McCaffrey to root for the 49ers. I don't even collect Christian McCaffrey, so I just want him to win a Super Bowl and to get treated right because my Panthers screwed him over badly. But Super Bowl 58, it's going to be a spectacle, man. Going to have Reba McIntyre and somebody else doing like the national anthem and all that fun stuff. And, and this national anthem marks the 50th anniversary of Reba McIntyre's uh, music career. She started off uh, doing the national anthem at a football game, and that's how she got uh, she got famous and signed and signed and seen, according to what I've seen online. So she was that the fact that she's doing this at now, it's pretty cool for her. And we got Usher. Usher is doing the halftime performance. That'll be interesting. Commercials are going to be cool. There's already one that Paramount's got out that I really like. It's got that quarterback for the Dolphins. I can't remember his name. It's got Sir Patrick Stewart. It's got Creed. It's got Drew Barrymore. It's got Peppa Pig. 